So long silent movies The quiet dances on the screen My name is Leticia Alonso Liniz So long to burning slowly Smelling sweat and kerosene I'm the daughter of Juan Alonso and Dolores Cortez and, and my stepmother Sylvia Sylvia Ramos Andrea and Felix Liz and John Cindy and Adrian and those are my brothers and sisters I have two daughters with Robert Renee is 20 and Danielle is 17 we went out to um, we went out with some friends to a karaoke bar and uh, he showed up and <laughs> you know we spent a little time there together just talking and I sang karaoke and upon leaving that night I remember telling my friend that's the, that's the one I'm gonna marry um, I just knew my heart my soul everything just knew that that uh, he was the one I can't even explain that I've never felt that before whether it's been to my detriment or not, or my benefit. Very controlling person. I have to have a handle of the situation so that it doesn't get out of hand. Um, sometimes with cancer, things got out of hand. My husband got cancer in 2008. And, um, you know, I remember when he when he, he was told all I knew was to be strong and we're gonna get through this. And I think it confused him because I wasn't crying or anything or upset. But that's just because I knew it was something that we had to, to, to go through. We had we had to resolve, we had to figure it out. I don't think people even realized how much pain he was in because he would always put up a good front. But even around us me and the girls, he, he just, I don't know, he just showed such a great strength. He had cancer for seven years, um, and actually that was a blessing. It was a blessing that he had cancer for um, that long of a time because both my daughters, Renee and Danielle, were young when he found out. and. Um, they had a chance to get to know their dad. I started to think, well, I better take care of myself so that that way um, the, the, the kids need to make sure they have a healthy parent. So I started to go into the doctor annually just to get regular checkups and stuff. So I scheduled my, my colonoscopy at like 8.30 in the morning. When I woke up from my procedure, my dad was sitting there in the room with me and the nurse was there. And she said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but they found what they believe to be cancer. You'll have to check with your doctor. And all I remember thinking was, what are you talking about? The next morning, I texted everybody and their mother to please offer up prayers for us because this was going to be a fight that was going to be hard because it was only now just the three of us at home. I went to MD Anderson, I had surgery. They removed the area that, that was cancerous and I followed up with uh, chemo. And the whole journey from uh, the Friday before Memorial Day in May to my last chemo, November the 18th, um, Cancer free. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're going to go out this way and take a ride. Mark with time. Yeah, Mom. Love you too. Are y'all ready? Bye. Bye. On your mark. Get set. Go. I was looking for something to challenge myself, something to prove to myself that I could still 
do things uh, physically and succeed in what I was doing. But more so, I was also looking for a way to, to show God my appreciation of getting me through cancer and showing Him that now I want to live, live life fully. No good. Way different place than I was a year ago. Yeah. yeah. A lot more stronger. Having my girls cheer me on when they could was awesome. Love you guys. Thank you. And thank you for everybody that supported me. I was thinking about all of y'all during the ride. Love y'all. I think I'm a helper. I'm on this earth to help. I think that's actually where I excel. I think that's who let the end.